talk about bringing your tropicals in from outside for a summer vacation. Almost everybody is tempted to take their house plants out and who wouldn't like to go out for the summer? We do, your plants do too. They like the increased sunlight, the increased humidity, the increased rainfall, and they grow and they flourish outside. So they love their summer vacation. And when we start getting cooler in the fall, it's time to start thinking about bringing them inside. One of the problems with having them outside all summer is they may have insects. And while they flourished outside and the insect populations were there, you didn't really notice them. But when we start bringing them inside for lower light intensity, lower humidity, and shorter day length from outside, then the plants, the populations explode and then you start having problems. So gather up your tropical plants at least seven to 10 days before we're going to have a frost Certainly don't want to wait till the freeze on a lot of these tropicals. You really want to do this more before a frost. And take them and pick them up and do a visual inspection. And particularly look on the underside of the leaves. Look for webbing. Look for actual bodies of things like scale, which would be attached to the stem. Look for white things, which would be mealy bugs. You could have aphids if there are little webs underneath there, it might be spider mites. That's really important that you don't want to bring those in. So if you find any of those things, what you may want to consider is you have to look at the value of the plant and say, is this a great plant? Uh, can I replace it? Is it worth taking in? Because you have a collection of house plants that are inside, they're all clean. Do you want to risk bringing in plants that have insects? If the plant is extremely valuable, if it has sentimental value, and you have spotted something on there, what you may want to consider is a treatment before you bring it in. There are a number of really, really good, safe uh, controls, organic-based and otherwise, that you can use. So if you have an infestation on a plant, think in terms of spraying it about a week apart, two applications before you bring it in. If you are not big on spraying, what you may want to use, a particular favorite of mine, are these systemic insecticide granules. And so there's no spraying either outside or inside. Based on what the pot diameter is, you open this up and the insecticide is in a granular formulation and you just pepper it over the soil surface, literally so it's distributed uniformly over the whole top of the pot. You water thoroughly and based on the size of the plant, in about five to 15 days, that will, insecticide will have gone down in the root system all the way up into all the leaf and stem tissue. So any insects that are sucking or chewing on the foliage will be dead. Now, you may also want to be even a little bit more careful than that, a little bit more conservative than that. And even if you don't see anything, you might not want to spray. But one application of the systemic granules about seven to 10 days before you bring the plants in will ensure that you're bringing plants in that are clean. One further step that I would recommend when you bring them in, isolate them from all of your other plants. Find one room, uh, almost like a holding cell, if you will, and put all your tropicals in there. Keep them together for two to three weeks. Do weekly inspections. Make sure there's no livestock on there. Make sure they're perfectly clean before you put them in with the general population. Mix them with the other plants. Once that's done, enjoy those plants for the rest of the winter and they'll look forward to a spring vacation outside too.